hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is itesh and i'm back with another video so i have this scene in maya and uh, what we're going to do today is that i'm going to take this pill and fill this bottle of it so when you're doing a product modeling like this and you've modeled everything most people get confused in how they're going to fill their product into the bottle so it's pretty simple with the help of mesh so today we are going to take a look at that so i have this bottle and i hide the cap now we have this pill and i'm going to use a mesh to fill this bottle of it so for now i'm going to go to material attribute and i'm going to make it a little bit of transparent we are going to create material later for this what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide everything except for the bottle and the pill and i'm going to select this go to mesh and create a new mesh network and as you can see that it's already working and we have some duplicates of our mesh so i'm going to click to open this editor and in your attribute editor you can use all these settings so i'm not going to change anything right now uh, i'm going to take a transform mode so let's click here and take a transform mode and i'm going to rotate it to 90 or what we can do is we can uh, go to distribute and change the distribution type to something like grid so that we have more volume in less space and uh, we can increase the number of geometry by increasing this grid value and now you can change the distance between these geometries so i think this should be p and turn down the space or maybe we can reduce it to two like this and something like this and increase the space between the pills so i'm going to increase the value of distance y and if you need to add more pills so you can increase the value of this grid something like this i think this much should be enough for this and uh, let's decrease the distance a little bit and now we go to transform and we place it all these geometry above this bottle so i'm going to change the position of y axis to something like this and uh, now to create the animation of falling these down we need to take a dynamics node so we can control the dynamics of these geometries and uh, we don't have to change anything uh, for a simple falling down animation what we need to do is that uh, we need to open our outliner go to bullet solver and here we have this uh, section for collider object so we have to select our bottle geometry with our middle mouse button and uh, drag it to this collider object what we will do is that uh, this will make this mesh a passive collider so all things that falls down in it it's going to contain all that geometry so let's play and see how it looks and so that's how it looks you can change the material transparency a little bit more to see it more clearly like this and the bottle is filled with the pills so this is very useful when you are modeling a product bottle like this 
and uh, this whole thing is pretty simple to create it looks difficult and complicated but it's not you can use mesh to create an animation you can also add keys to all these geometries and render out an animation but today we are just going to render this product water so we are done and now we have this mesh go to edit delete by type history and uh, now we can delete all those blood solver and mesh parameters and we have now this fill mesh and i'm going to bring back everything that we hired in start of the video and now let's create the material for our meshes so for the background and this podium i'm going to use the same material so i'm going to assign a standard surface rename it as background material and for the bottle let's take a new one and rename it as bottle and for this one again cap and for the fills i have already assigned a material for this but uh, you can take a new one and delete by type history so that it removes all the previous data and now we have set up our materials so what we need to do is that uh, add some lights and tick out a render to see how it looks so i've already set up my camera so if i go to panel perspective and render cam this is going to be my view for the rendering and uh, I'm going to take a light pull this up and place it on the top go to render setting and change it to gpu and let's take out the render so as you can see that our render is very dark so i'm going to select my light and turn off normalize and increase the exposure a little bit pull this up and uh, let's create few more lights turn off normalize and i'm going to rotate this and place it here duplicate it and place this one here maybe rotate it a little bit and now let's take the render i'm going to increase the exposure for this do something like this and this one to 1.5 so let's select the bottle 
and i'm going to the material attributes and go to presets and let's try to use the default presets here i'm going to try this frosted glass and see how it looks i'm going to add a denoiser that we get a more clear render so we still have some noise in our render which we can fix by increasing the sample but uh, for now let's change the color of this material i'm going to select my material and uh, let's go to transmission and you can change the color maybe something like this more transparent and for the pills i'm going to change the color of it to red So you can change it to anything you want. But this looks good. So I'm going to keep it like this. And for the cap. I'm going to use the preset. Plastic. Change the color. Make it darker. Like black and in the subsurface also change the color of it to black or maybe white For the podium and the background, I'm going to take the color of this bottle, but a little brighter. and that's it the, these are our final settings and now we just have to increase these samples here and let the render finish but there's one more thing that you can do is if you want to add a label on your bottle so what you have to do is just select your bottle go to face and select some of these faces uh, let's remove some on the back i'm going to deselect these ones and create a duplicate scale them down a little bit like this and again assign a new material and if you have any label available that you created in illustrator or photoshop you can apply that on these faces so i have this template uh, i'm going to apply in the base color of this material so and we just need to uv unwrap this face so that we can remove this stretching so let's go to uv editing and uh, i'm going to create automatic mapping just move and sew 
and unfold and now i'm just going to select this and place here and that's it i'm going to select this and uh, maybe increase the roughness and now let's try to render it and see how it looks so that's it for this video and this is our final render i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching